congestion is a big problem in San Francisco today and is expected to only get worse. Average car travel speeds around downtown San Francisco during rush hour are about 10 miles per hour. Congestion's impact on transit speeds is even more severe, with average rush hour speeds near downtown of less than 8 miles per hour. Already established in London and Stockholm, congestion pricing involves charging drivers a user fee to drive in specific congested areas. The user fee funds transportation improvements, such as better transit service, road improvements, and bicycle and pedestrian projects. These improvements are put in place before the first day the congestion fee is collected to allow those who want to avoid the toll to have a viable alternative. In San Francisco, congestion pricing boundaries being considered are the Northeast Cordon, bounded by Laguna and 18th Streets, or the Southern Gateway as defined by the San Francisco-San Mateo County line. A pricing plan stands to generate $60 to $80 million a year in transportation improvements. How might congestion pricing in San Francisco affect the travel experience of Bay Area residents? Let's focus on a few typical routes for people who work in downtown San Francisco and what happens to three people who experience a change in their travel once congestion pricing kicks in. Ray saves half an hour each way for his carpool that travels from Silicon Valley to San Francisco. They use the new US 101 HOV lane that's included in the package of improvements funded by congestion pricing. David saves 10 minutes riding the bus from his Haight-Ashbury home to work instead of driving his car and dealing with the stress of traffic. He also waits a shorter time and pads his trip less because service is more reliable. And Leslie has found that taking the Trans Bay bus between Rockridge and Oakland and downtown San Francisco is 10 minutes faster each way than before congestion pricing. Congestion pricing would be accompanied by improvements on the first day the transit program starts, such as more Muni, AC Transit, Golden Gate Transit, and SamTrans Express Bus services, access improvements to BART and Caltrain, and US 101 corridor management, such as ramp metering and HOV lanes. And all the money raised from congestion pricing would be reinvested in transportation improvements. Think of more bicycle lanes, more frequent buses and streetcars, traffic lanes just for buses, road repairs, wider sidewalks, more ways to improve transit service and help people get around quicker and more efficiently. Right now, San Francisco is still in the early stages of exploring pricing. The Transportation Authority has already heard from more than 1,000 Bay Area residents through workshops, polls, focus groups, and other means. There are still many steps before a decision will be made and the earliest congestion pricing would go into effect would be 2015. We invite you to give us input and tell us what you think. Contact us to request a presentation for your group or to share feedback. Or you can stay updated via the Internet at www.sfmobility.com or find us on Facebook or Twitter.